Okay, here's a tip. Uh, people's been messaging me about how do we get past anger of ourselves whenever we, uh, you know, cheat when we're not supposed to have like our splurge meal or something. And for 25 years, every time I would splurge or cheat, I would never get back on it. So uh, this is what I this accidentally came up with one time right at the beginning when I was cheating. It was Wednesday or Thursday, and I had uh, some really bad food. So I was just mad at myself. I was kind of walking back and forth in my house. So I went to my bathroom mirror, and I kind of put my hands up on it like this. And I, and I started screaming at myself. I just said, Neil, you're trying to kill yourself. What are you doing? And, I mean, you, you can do this. You can do this. You got it in you. You got it in you. I started just, I'm not going to say the words I said to myself because I don't think that would be appropriate. But for about 30 or so seconds, I'd yell at myself, and I just kind of stop, put my hands up. And I just kind of close my eyes, and I said, I did not just eat that 20-piece chicken McNugget with a double quarter pounder meal with two fries, two Cokes, and two double cheeseburgers, and two McChickens on the way home. <laughs> yeah, I used to eat that stuff. And then right after that, I just kind of let it all out of my head because you have to get your anger out. If you don't get your anger out, then you're not going to be able to move on. So I let it all out of my head. Then I got myself fired up. Said, yeah, I want to do this. I can do this. There's nothing I can't do. So then I got myself fired up and I went to the gym, had one of the best workouts ever. So, be, you know, sometimes you got to get mad at yourself, but you always got to be positive to yourself too. So that's my tip for today.